Hey everyone, this is Alex Dunn with a quick Xamarin tip. We're going to look at calling platform specific code from a portable class library. Some resources before we move over to Visual Studio. I put the source code for this up on GitHub and I've also linked to the Hockey App SDK since that's the platform specific code we're going to be implementing. So the first method we're going to look at is our singleton instance. So we're going to create a singleton that has a reference to platform specific code that we can call from our portable class library. So now we'll head over to Visual Studio and implement the Hockey App SDK. So now over in Visual Studio all I've done is set up a blank XAML Xamarin Forms app and then I've gone ahead and added the Hockey App SDK NuGet package to the iOS project only. Uh, we're just going to run the demo on the iOS app um, but you do the same thing for each of your specific platforms for Android and UWP and all that. So with the singleton method what we're going to do is set up first of all our interface in our PCL. So our interface is going to define what each platform specific implementation needs to do. Oops. So we're just going to create an interface eventually and call it our i hockey service so the hockey app SDK does have uh, a PCL library but it doesn't do things that are platform specific like create the feedback view and stuff like that so that's what we're gonna focus on doing so the first thing we're going to need to do is create two methods for init and then also for get feedback. That's what each of our platform specific implementations are going to do. Now we're going to create our actual singleton reference. So we're going to create a class and we're just going to call it the hockey manager. And this hockey manager is going to have a static reference to an i hockey service. So a public static i hockey service and we can just call it current. And that's all that that needs. Now in our iOS project we're going to create the actual implementation for our hockey service. I'm just going to create a folder here. Work around the dumb template issue. Hockey service. Make it public, and then we're going to implement i hockey service and bring in the PCL's namespace and get rid of these broken ones. And now we'll implement it. So for our initialization, we're just going to be using the actual Hockey App SDK. Uh, I'm just going to bring it in up top so I don't run into lag. That should be the only namespace we need. So we get our shared manager reference oops don't need the new it's a static reference I'm just gonna make a shortcut here hockey manager okay so we're gonna call configure And this is where you'd pass your actual app ID. I'm just going to pass an empty and hopefully that doesn't break anything. If not, we'll come back and add an actual one. And then we're just going to call start. So that's all we need for the initialization. And now for feedback manager. Get the shared hockey manager again. Oh. 
and then we're just going to call show feed back with a zero. Cool. So now we have our implementation. Now we need to, all we need to do is actually set our static singleton to our platform specific one. So if we go to our app delegate, and if you're doing this for Android, you do the same thing in your main activity. Um, before we load our application, get a reference to the hockey manager, and we'll say current equals new hockey service. So now if we go back to our portable class library, let's just open the page and add a button to call to get feedback on. So I'm just going to make this a button. And we'll give it a click event. We'll just call it feedback clicked. And we'll move to the code behind. Create our click event. And now we can just call hockey manager dot current dot get feedback. And in our app XAML, in the constructor, we can call to initialize. So we can say hockey manager dot current dot init. Let me just double check my typing skills. Okay. That should be it. Now we should be able to run our app in a simulator or any device and we should be able to see our feedback come back. So now that we're running our application on the simulator, we can see our main page with our button here and clicking it pops up our feedback control from the iOS hockey app SDK. And we can go ahead and add responses, view our responses, and everything else that's involved with the full native SDK. So in our next couple of videos, we'll look at other ways to use platform specific code uh, using the Xamarin Forms dependency service, using a, a custom service locator, and then um, on top of that, doing some full dependency injection. So thanks for watching um, and stay tuned for more Xamarin quick tips.